This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine, fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it, just look at some of the 600 plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says, well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. Sorry I'm a little bit late tonight, but um, I uh, had to have a bowl of shreddies. I was hungry, so a uh, little bit late, but always going to be live for the start of the game, of course. And it's Crystal Palace against Arsenal. I've got a funny feeling that uh, we're going to see Arsenal um, not pick up three points today. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've just got a funny feeling. I might be completely wrong. Maybe completely wrong with that, but I've just got a feeling that they might not get 100 100 points, they might not get three points. But look, they've been very impressive, Arsenal, this season. Um, and it's exactly the sort of game that they will go and win because that's what they've been doing. So um, I think it's uh, it's very interesting to see how they're going to get on. But um, I, uh, I'm i going to predict that Crystal Palace get at least a draw today. Maybe that's wishful thinking, um, which will make it a lot more easy on with, to be honest with you. Because uh, obviously if Ten Hag succeeds, he's going to be here for a long time. Goal for Palace! Is it offside? It's a goal for Crystal Palace. It's a big goal in the top four. The Eagles are flying high and the Gunners are firing blanks. It's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. Is there an element of offside in this goal? We hope not, but I'll speak like this until we find out. Arteta doesn't look happy, but it's 1-0 to the Eagles. It's 1-0 to the Palace. A cross comes in. I don't think there's an offside there. There's no interference. There's no interference there. It will be a goal. And it will be a goal to Crystal Palace. It's Gallagher with the header. They might look for a bit of a foul. Might be a bit of a foul on the uh, fullback. Oh, you might might get a foul there. You might get a push on the uh, Tavares. Yeah. I don't think it's enough of a foul to stop the header. Potch will surprise you like Tuchel did. No, he won't, Gabby. And uh, come on, Palace. Come on, says Joseph. And hi, Mark. I have never felt more disconnected to a United team than I do now, right now. Hopefully, Ten Hag can just bring us exciting football. Well, it was Mateta who scored. I'm just a little bit... Oh, no, they've given the goal. Play on. Play it on. Get in. Get in there. Go on, the Palace. I told you. I fancy, uh, I fancy Palace to get something here tonight. And they're 1-0 up. Agree. It could be two. It is two. It's Crystal Palace do. It's Arsenal zero. It's 2-0 to Palace. It's Ayu. How are you? I'm all right. My name's Ayu. And it's 2-0 to Palace. And Arsenal are in a right state here. I think it's a defensive error. I wasn't actually looking. I saw the ball go into the back of the net. It's 2-0 Palace. This is a cat amongst the pigeons. In fact, it's an eagle amongst the cats. Because Crystal Palace's nickname is the Eagles. And the eagle has landed right amongst these Arsenal cats. And it's a bloodbath at the moment, to be honest with you. Um, it's a lovely bit of play. Where is the Arsenal defence here? It wasn't a mistake. It's just one ball that takes Gabriel out. That left back's a joke. Tavares, he's cost you two goals, lads and ladies. Arsenal fans, Tavares has cost you two goals. Gabriel tries to intercept it, but it's Tavares's man. Ayu is Tavares's man. He's completely lost him. And it's a lovely finish into the bottom corner. It's a legit goal. It's 2-0. And Arsenal are looking down the barrel of a defeat here. Let alone dropping two points in a draw. They're looking down the barrel of a hard defeat. It's 2-0 to Crystal Palace after 25 minutes. And it's thoroughly deserved. Playing very well as a team. And... Ooh, Saka went down. Goal kick. Um, I thought he might... Hint of a penalty, but he's not got it. 
I think there is a there is a there is a vulnerability to Arsenal in the fact that if they're not all firing, it doesn't surprise me that Palace have given them. I, th- I think I think if you if you play well against Arsenal, you've got a chance because they're they're a good team, but they're not Man City, they're not Liverpool. And I think Man City and Liverpool would would struggle tonight against Palace. They'd probably find a way, but haven't Palace taken four points off City this season? They're a good side. I wouldn't read too much into it as an. Oh, half a chance there for Smith Rowe. Still half an hour to go. I do think Palace is starting to. I did predict this. Don't want to. Don't want to say I'm a genius or anything, but I did predict that Palace would not be able to keep the intensity of the first half up. And I do think they are starting to drop a little bit and Arsenal starting to just push a bit. Aman, thanks for the super chat. Are, oh, are you sending any of the United stand to Australia pre-season? Be great to meet the guys after following from New Zealand for so many. Now, oh, it should have been 2-1. Odegaard, that is a massive chance. It was Arsenal's best move in the whole game. Cross comes into Odegaard. He comes onto it. Stood on the penalty box and he put it wide. It was Arsenal's best bit of play. Cross comes in and he put it wide. Did you hear Rooney saying Poch over Ten Hag? Oh, just ridiculous, Dale. Absolutely ridiculous. Penalty. He's not giving it. Ah, I thought that was a penalty there. He has given it. He has. I, said, I, th- I think he had to take a bit of time there, the ref. It's a penalty. Do you ever get noticed outside? And what do you do if you get noticed? I'm just polite, Jaden. You should visit Wales someday, Mark, says Nathan. I've been to Wales loads of times. Penalty to Palace. It is a penalty as well. It is. That's never getting overturned. Sahar with the trickery. Odegaard buys the tackle and gives away the penalty. And that could well be that if Crystal Palace score this Stonewaller when you're in Ireland did you ever go down to Kerry Galway or was it all in Dublin the United career started well says Barry I've been to Galway yeah Galway is a lovely place 100% a penalty for Crystal Palace here I will talk to you about Rooney the player and what I think about him in a minute um, I don't think a lot about him tonight I think his opi- opinions are poor tonight Harry Maguire is a good guy I know him personally that doesn't make him a good player Lingard and McTominay are good young players, 25 and 29. Pochettino should be the manager, and uh, United need to move on from Ronaldo. <laughs> I just I just can't be arsed with these ex-players. They're just so full of crap. No wonder the clubs like it. You'd think one of them would actually... I mean, look, Barcelona get Xavi. We get bloody Neville, Rio, Rooney and everyone else who just talk crap. Anyway, an Oli. Zahar, here we go. This to put the game to bed. I think it might have been put to bed already. I just don't think it's Arsenal's night. But 3 0 will put it away. Goal difference, you've got to start thinking about that as well. And he scores, and it is 3 0 to Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zahar puts the game to bed, and Arsenal are asleep tonight. It's 3 0 to Crystal Palace, and it's. I mean, look, to be honest, first half, 2-0, they thoroughly deserved it. Second half, Arsenal have been better. But when you're 2-0 down and you're fighting an equal game in the second half, it can go either way. And it's gone to Crystal Palace. 3-0. 3-0. This is a loss. But it's a big loss. And you wonder what this is going to do to Arsenal's mentality going into these pivotal last few weeks. Goal Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.